for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, we showing you guys how to get the free 97 overall, slash 98, depending. Haven't even read the objective yet, but it's through house rules. I'm going to be going over the new house rules, how to beat the new house rules, my tips for the house rules, and my personal opinion on them. But before we get into this video, first off, let's smash that like button, boys. You guys have been keeping it pretty consistent. Obviously, things are slower right now, but let's keep it to about 50 likes or so. Hopefully we can get to above, above 50 likes. You guys have been killing it though. Still appreciate the support even this late into the year. Cannot wait for Madden 20, personally. I don't want to hear your opinions on that one because I all know the hatred for the next Madden, but I'm happy as a content creator. And second, make sure to drop the sub. Still going for 3k this month. It's looking a little less likely than I originally thought. But hopefully we can do it, boys. Keep up the support. Keep it coming. Thank you so much for all of it. Now let's get into this video. So first things first, go over to the seasons where the house rules will be. Now let's see what these rewards are and what the challenge is. Playhouse rules. Limited time event ends Thursday at 10.30. That's standard. I'll go into the whole thing. So let's see. You get a Nat Color Smash Pack. That is awesome. That's a free 97 overall. Now I'll go over in this video who I think you should choose. My opinion on doing this too. So welcome to the green zone in this event. Offensive touchdown between, between the 10 and the 20 yard lines are worth double. That's 12 points for scoring in this sweet spot, but keep an eye on the clock. There's only three minutes per quarter this week. So I like that. I do like the shortened quarters for all the... That sounded weird. Shortened quarters. I do like the shortened quarters for all the people who don't like to quit. Makes it very cool on that part. Pad that part. Happy to hear it shorter this week. Now let's see the challenge. Between the 10 and the 20 yard lines are worth double. So this confused me the first time. At first I thought it meant anything below the 20. But it appears that if you score when you're in between the 10 and 20, you get double the points, which is simple. So pretty much this week, just play offense. And for the most part, a lot of people score between the 10 and the 20. It's kind of the best spot to score from my opinion. You have you have space for routes to develop down the field. Like if you're doing a person I like to do in that spot, when you're between the 10 and the 20, you either you shriek an inside left big receiver. That's inside though, not all the way out, like inside. What I like to do is if you run halfback wheel, the left guy that runs the post, you either keep him on the post and he'll split the cover two up the middle and you throw it right between you high point it or if the safety is in the middle you just high point it to the left and you'll get between the um the outside quarter and the the, the deep zone personally that's what i do be a very easy to get a lot of points in this one what and only this is only six wins is it six wins in a row Ooh. so this one's more of a challenge once again i'm pretty sure you have to get six in a row to get oh 10 total no 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 no, no. my bad read it wrong so 10 total okay so this is an easy one will i do it depends on the time i've been really enjoying spider-man guys I finally started playing Spider-Man on the PS4. My brother's PS4, he has Spider-Man. That game is awesome. The game is really fun. I'm about to buy all the DLCs and I just beat it. I'm gonna keep playing it probably. So that might delay me on house rules. But that's this is an awesome house rules. It's six wins for 40,000 coins. So if you're good at this game, you can easily get two sets of six wins. That's 80K, 40 trophies, and a 97 overall. That is awesome. Now, this is for the less, in my opinion, this is a less competitive game mode right now. I think they should make house rules more competitive personally. At least make it a little more fun. This isn't competitive. This is about a this is as simple as playing solo challenges, right? Let's say there's 10 solo challenges and the 10th solo guarantees you a nat player, right? What do you do? You mindlessly play them, right? House rules. You only need 10 wins. You mindlessly play them. If they quit, they quit. If they don't, you quit, right? That's kind of the mentality right now of these house rules. So personally, personally, I kinda I didn't like to get to win six in a row. But it definitely made me want to try it made it fun it gave me something to like strive for this this just this ain't it maybe it'd be cool if there was cooler challenges like this week your, your running back will be at quarterback and your quarterback will be at running back or this week you, you can only run uh trick plays they'll have like a bunch of trick plays added in like i think there's a lot of cool things that could be done with this house rules like that would be cool or there was one really cool house rule what was it oh my god i, I literally had the idea for it i, I said it on twitter Oh my, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait. Damn, I forget. I forget. Something about, oh, whatever. If I remember in this video, I'll tell you guys. Or maybe at some point I'll edit it out and I'll, I'll go think for 20 minutes. But anyways, sorry. Besides the point, I had a really cool idea for house rules. And when I remember it, I will tell you guys. But there's so many things you can be doing with these house rules. So personally, 
I like this week. It's cool. It's a free player. You can't go wrong. Now, like I said, strategy for doing it, I recommend halfback wheel when you're between the 10 and the 20. You take that left guy that's doing a post. It's out of the New England Patriots playbook, by the way. It will be in gun split pads close, under gun and formations. It will be like... I think it's just A. I think... It'll be, it's, I think it's on the first page, not it's on the second or third. But you'll, you'll see it. So it's an easy post play, very simple. Now, just do that. I like to do it with Calvin. I just shriek him up and then I high point it out high points with LB. That's how you do that. Now, personally, should be an easy one. Should be very quick. And everyone's just quitting. No one takes it seriously anymore. Now, let me go to who I'd pick. All right. Who would I pick? Now, wait, did it say offensive or did it say any? I think it said any. Let me just double check that real quick so I don't give you guys dumb advice. Let me, you know, I'm not going to go send a tangent on things that aren't even true. Let's make sure. Okay, it's just a Nat Color Smash Black. So I'm guessing it's fantasy. Hopefully it's fantasy. Now let's see. So if we go over to sets. I believe there's defensive and offensive. Okay, cool. So let's start with the defensive. The J.J. Watt one. So you got Derwin James, Bradley Chubb, and Aqib Tlaib, and Miles Jack. Let me rank these for you. First off, at this point in the game, if we had no chems and no nothing, just straight up stock. If you're taking this card stock, let's buy order. Stock in this order. You go Bradley Chubb first. Can never go wrong with an end. Bradley Chubb, Derwin James, Miles Jack, and Keep Tlaib. Reasoning. Bradley Chubb's an end. You don't have to worry about him too much. He'll handle him. He'll handle himself. He has really good style base stats, like stock. And then Derwin James, hard hitting safety, fast, tall, can't go wrong with him. He'll he'll man it down. He can zone. He can hit. Miles Jack can zone. He can hit. He has speed. Decently catch. He can man the outside linebacker himself. Now keep to leave too slow stock. So he's like these three could tie for first. But he's last, undoubtedly. He's too slow if he's stock. No team team just base. Now, hold up. Let me tell you what chems. So if we're doing chems, we're talking about chems. First card is Derwin James. For the simple reason that if we're doing chems, Derwin James would have almost a 97 speed, a maxed out hit power, a close to maxed out zone, um, close to high acceleration, close to maxed out play rec, and really good tackle. And he's six foot three. He'd be unstoppable at safety. He'd be crazy good with mid mid 80s catching. So I think he's the first one. Second would probably still be Bradley Chubb because I think you can never go wrong with an end on any team. He will have with Chems a 90 speed. He'll have above the tiers for power moves. He already ha he'll probably have maxed out finesse, good play rec, hot, almost maxed out block shedding. He's six foot four and he can jump and catch decently. Now I'm not gonna go over the rest of them because I don't want to keep dragging it. But 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 Miles Jack, self-explanatory. Card plays like a beast. I just don't think his stats are as good as Derwin and Bradley Chubb. And to keep Tlaib. He's just really slow. I mean, you have to really come up with Sprinter, John Madden, and maybe even a theme team to really make him look really good. But if you have all of that, he might be one of the best corners in the game. If. Again, it's a, it's a, it's a saying a lot for a lot of people who don't even have all that stuff. So, there's the new one. Let's go over this one. This one's cool. I haven't even checked this one yet. So, Melvin Gordon. And AJ Green, Ben Roethlisberger, DeMar Dotson, and Brandon Scherf. I'm not really a fan of these. I already know he's going to be slow. He's going to be subpar. And these are linemen. Now, if I had to pick first, 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 first here, I would probably have to go with the linemen's first because you can't go wrong with the free 97 linemen. Stock. We're talking stock. Stock, AJ Green's not usable right now. And Ben Roethlisberger is unusable, in my opinion, unless he's stock. He's on a theme team and he's powered up. But I didn't have to see the stats to already know what they gave him. But for the for the time being, let me just compare the two tackles or the tackle and the guard. We got Scherf with really nice pass blocking and run blocking and high strength. And he's six foot nine. Oh my god, he's huge. Okay, okay. He might take it. Let's see Brandon Scherf. I can always use a good tackle. Yeah, it, it's it's Demar Dotson. Just based off these stats, Demar Dotson takes that one. So in my order here, I would go Demar Dotson first, then Scherf, or you can even tie them for second. But I think Demar Dotson takes it. Now let's compare AJ Green. I believe his speed is like a 92. Yep. Wow, these stats are underwhelming at this point in the game. My Calvin blows this card away. I understand it's a 99, but my point is, like, if you want a tall card, just get Calvin. They're very similar in price. Like, 100k more, you can get this Calvin. Maybe even less at this point. He's faster, can jump better, can catch better, can catch in traffic better, can spec catch better. Better deep route running, better tied medium route. He beats him in short route running by one, and he's taller. So, I'm going to go with maybe Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, it's a quarterback. Mm, I like it. No, it's got to be Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger has... He's underwhelming, too. Damn. Okay, 
I'm going to tie them for last. There's no debate. I'm tying them for last. They're both pretty ass in my opinion. The only two usable ones. Are, I love the Stamar Dotson personally. So that's it, guys, for this video. You got your rankings. I hope it helps you pick your card. Hope you have fun with house rules. I hope you get your free players. And I hope you keep showing support, boys. Been loving the support. Things are going awesome for me. I'm loving YouTube. And I cannot wait for Madden 20. You don't understand. I'm working on a series. I don't want to do a wheel of mud, like I said. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head. I'm getting a lot of comments. I'm taking feedback. I'm working on a series. Once I get more, more, when school is towards the end and I got a lot of free time and I can get a series going and I keep working on editing, I will have a nice series for you guys. That's cool. Implementing some, you know, features like a wheel or checkerboard or some kind of series. I'll figure it out. And when I do, it should be fun. Now, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you have, make sure to smash the like button, 50 likes, drop a sub, make sure to comment down below. And also, you guys like the camera? See the blurred background? The focus on my face? All I gotta do is get, I'm gonna get a softbox there, softbox there, and everything was gonna look awesome. I cannot wait. And I'll move the camera right there. And that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.